Okay, so if you can get two tigers to line up like that in the swimming pool, <laughs> yeah, you are lucky. Just look at them. They are so perfect there. I can't think of anything more perfect. Okay, so a lot of people have asked me to make a video about the coronavirus and what I think about it and how I would handle it and just in general my thoughts about it. Now, the first thing that you have to know is that it had to come from somewhere. Now, if I have to say where I think it came from, the first time I felt that something is not right was while I was watching a video about a sarcophagus. Let me just get the pronunciation right. That was being opened and a dead body that has probably been dead for 2,000 years was unpacked by people with their hands. Now, I'm not saying that it came from there, but that was the first time I realized that people were doing things that could result in something like this. So, the video went viral. It was around about December and yeah, like I said, it's not where I say it came from, but if people are doing things like that, it means they're opening up all kinds of things and somewhere it's going to come and get you. Okay, then I ignored it. And I started seeing things happen like the hail that we had. Now the hail happened on the 2nd of November. And then we had all the flies. And then we had a huge mosquito plague. And all kinds of things. And it was about a month ago that I made a video about the darkness. Okay, let me get these boys in the house because they're going to make a noise now. Come on, you guys go in there. Come on, Tracy. Okay, so. The darkness that was mentioned that lasted three days. And then I realized, well, you know what? If there's darkness, I can't picture it exactly where it will come from, but it can be in anything. It can be in a closet, it can be in a suitcase, it can be anywhere. It can even be when the sun is blocked out for too long. And then I mentioned in that video that the next one is, well, we all know where it ended, the death of the firstborn. So, I didn't see it like that. I didn't see it as the children. I see it as the oldest person. The oldest people. Well, that is what it... Enzo, don't do that. And that is a problem. Uh, and that is what is corresponding with what is said that is to happen now. So, I already had time to prepare, but... If you were watching my videos, you would have, I won't say you would realize it, but your subconscious would have realized it. And starting to figure it out. Now, this thing is happening and there's nothing nobody can do. I actually still went to Cape Town, took one of the flights, the last flights of the last few days and I'm pretty confident that it is fine, that it is not such a big problem for well for me, I don't know why, I just think that I am well I won't say prepared, but I don't think, 
let me rather put it like this. I don't really care much what happens to me. Now that sounds terrible, but it's the truth. I have been through a lot. And I've been through that a long time ago already. And you get to a point where you don't see your life as such a huge prize, I can put it. <laughs> now, when that happens, you start changing a bit. Oh, come on, boys. Not this again. Don't make me turn this car around. Diego. Okay. So, yeah, I don't see my life as that valuable. Although, it is probably supposed to be. But, <laughs> I, I don't know how, to, how I can put that to you guys, but I'm going to just take a nice picture of Enzo. If he opens his mouth like that, he won't turn his head this way now with Diego over there. Keep your head on him, Enzo. <laughs> okay, never turn your back on a tiger. Yeah, Diego just realized that when he almost forgot that Enzo was a tiger. But yeah, so I can see the panic that everybody has. And to be honest, I think you can avoid this virus for as long as possible. But slowly it will get to everybody and your system will be able to adapt. All the stuff that is shut down at the moment and closed up, it is definitely helping to not let it spread as quickly. It will probably spread all over the world it's just a matter of time but we will be able to build an immunity against it so that's what's happening already i think most people has already had a little of this and they have already recovered I don't think everybody is going to be sick all at once. I think the right decisions were made, especially here in South Africa. They did close up everything as soon as they realized they had to. I just, uh, I, I, I'm not an expert on this, but I will definitely think that yeah it's it's within it's it's controlled we are able to control it we don't want everybody to get it all at once and maybe we'll even have the right kind of vaccine early enough to to take for it but i don't think that it is going to be as bad as people think although it will definitely have casualties and what you can do to prevent it from taking your life I'm no expert on this but the only thing that I can say is try and keep as warm as possible now someone did send me a video that they made on YouTube and said listen it's about the heat and yeah it is now the first place where I got that from was also you know where and they actually had to well, have a fire and put the food on the fire and roast the meat but they had to be fully dressed and I think if you are standing next to a fire fully dressed you will be getting heat in your body and that will definitely help your mm. immune system to combat a virus that is in your system 
because your immune system wants a little bit of heat. So yeah, this is not advice. I don't know what this is, but it is something. And I think people can, you won't do any damage if you make sure that you have enough heat in your system. And just don't go cold. And try and breathe warmer air. Now don't go and put all, well, the radiators and things on high and trip all the power stations in the world. Don't do that. Maybe you can ease on it and do it the right way. <laughs> but yeah, it's just one of those things. I think there's a lot of advice out there. I think people will be scared to give advice because of consequences. And maybe we're wrong. So I don't want to get in too deep into it. I think I've got a natural trust that a, it's just around me. I just have it and I don't feel afraid and it's not easy for me to become afraid because I've been through a lot. <laughs> but yeah, keep it in mind and do whatever you can do to at least breathe warmer air. When it happened, it was in the first month. But that was in the Northern Hemisphere. We are in the Southern Hemisphere. So I think for us in the Southern Hemisphere, we have to watch out for around about June, July. And I think the people in the Northern Hemisphere are over, well... I'm not going to say the worst, but I think just about. And warmer air is on its way every day. And I've said that a hundred times probably in the last month. But it's true. And I think that that is going to help. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Now that's the wrong thing to say, I guess, if you want reassurance. But I would say everything is in good hands because of what I know, not because of what I think. But I cannot tell people what I know because it will probably sound really, really ridiculous. But you're going to have to trust me on that. And let's see how it goes next week I hope everybody is fine and I really I think they will be but it's gonna have casualties unfortunately it's just one of those things well guys that's a part that I can say I didn't rehearse this or get reference of or have a book in front of me or written down anything I'm just talking and I could easily make a mistake as well because this is a very very sensitive thing but I believe that if you're gonna be fine you're gonna be fine nothing can harm you and I've proven that to myself it's actually easier for me to believe a miracle than to believe a fact. And the reason for that is I have seen things with my own eyes. And once you've seen certain things, you will never well, have a problem with believing in a miracle again if you've seen one. And if you've seen two, and if you've seen a thousand. So, <laughs> yeah, but that is me. And I hope that I can give you some kind of just a basic 
break on this whole thing that is happening because I think it's going too far I can see when people are buying stuff not really in South Africa I've just been to a center and I can see everybody is washing their hands like a thousand times and they are really doing everything the right way wiping the trolley handles and disinfectant everywhere the airports because I did fly the other day not overseas but just domestically here in South Africa and I saw everybody doing their part so they are definitely taking this serious and I think it will be okay according to what I've seen but I've learned not to speak for the how can I put it for the grand plan I cannot do that and I won't but I hope that everybody can be okay these two are just playing a little bit okay now I heard I'm hearing quite vicious scratches. Diego? Diego! Diego! Let me just... Now the thing is, when I hear those tick marks, you know that those are the claws. Diego! Okay, let me just do something here. Enzo. Okay, now Enzo thinks that he's got my backing. And then he wants to take advantage. Enzo! Enzo! Let me just get them back here. Enzo! Okay, there they go. See, all is fine. Yeah. Enzo, if you're going to break those branches... Well, I will probably have to put your PlayStation away for two weeks then. Okay. Come on, Diego. I heard those claws of yours. Well, guys, that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I hope you get some positivity out of that. And I'm, I, I really feel for the people who are going through a mental thing on this. But, yeah, it's going to be okay. Okay, Enzo, are you ready for the first one? You're yawning. I almost threw it straight up your yawn. <laughs> well, I guess he would have caught it with his yawn. Diego, here you go. Okay, so they are eating. Going to give each of them about five, I guess, today. They're already picking up a bit of more weight. So I want to keep them in very good shape. Now another thing that I didn't mention was the opposite of the, the darkness will be light. And the light that we have is the sun. And if you could use the sun as much as you can. I'm not talking going surfing for the weekend and you are getting burned to a crisp. I'm talking... Even if you wash your clothing, hanging it in the sun, if there is any. And just, just try and get more sunlight around you. As a, nothing, nothing can go wrong from it. But you're, you will definitely get more vitamin D. And it will be a good thing. I have been taking vitamin C. 
these tablets that you put in your water, those fizzy pops or whatever they call it, and it's in a glass of water. Now I've just been eating them for a while because I get sick on an aeroplane every single time. But when I started flying again about eight months ago, I went to the chemist and they gave me some of this vitamin C and iron and I just used those tablets and I just ate them like sweets once a day for 10 days and when I flew and I came back I was perfectly healthy nothing whatsoever and then I went again and I did the same and again and again and again and I have to say once when I got there there was a guy sitting behind me that was really ill. I did catch his cold or whatever it is he had and I had it for an hour. I put a warm jacket on and within an hour I was healed. I was great. No problem whatsoever. So that is out of my experience what I have seen works for I'd say common cold or flu. I don't know if it's going to work for Corona, but I think it, would, it might be a good first step. So that is what I have done. And it has definitely worked for me. If I had to say I'm flying on the weekend of the main Corona virus pandemic, I would have said, no way I'm doing that. And uh, this time I did. And I wasn't afraid even. I wasn't scared that I might catch it. I knew my immune system is strong enough just by what I've taken there. So heat yourself up. Make sure you are not breathing cold air. Dress up. Put shoes on your feet. Even if you can have the gloves on your hands. I think that's a good idea. You don't need to. But I think it's just for the heat. And take some vitamin C. Eat a couple of oranges now and then. Anything that has vitamin C in it. And let's see what we can do. Smokers, I know they said that smokers can also get get it a bit a little worse than the others and being obese is a problem. Now I've spoken about Enzo and Diego when they were getting so little fat on the stomach section, just look at him. Yeah Diego and I've put him on a couple of diets, trying to get it back, and subconsciously it should also have helped you. I hope it did. And the smoking thing, well, the tigers didn't smoke, so I couldn't let them quit. But, yeah, that would have been nice. But in any case, guys, we are trying to get an accurate way of telling what someone else must do and there is no such thing i think if you are going to be protected you will be and if you are not you will can do whatever you want and you won't be so i hope everybody is protected <coughs> like enzo was protected over there <laughs> and Okay, just be well. Well, guys, that's it about this coronavirus. Don't think I should add any more. But use the sun, use the heat, and stay warm. Take your vitamin C. And don't get into a panic because that can also cause your immune system to go on runaway. And it is not the best thing let me just give him another one yeah Diego I'm throwing with my other hand well guys thanks for watching let me feed all of them 
and I uh, hope you are just fine. Speak to you soon. Have a great day.